Welcome, in this video we're gonna connect uh, Arduino to our Android device with a Bluetooth. Uh, this is the Arduino board and this is a Bluetooth sensor. It's a, a GIMCU. It's connected on 5 volts ground and this is transmitting goes in the receiving and the receiving pin is going to the transmitting. If you have another board not from Arduino then sometimes it's 10 and 11. Uh, if this is not working then try to switch so put transmitting on the transmitting and receiving on the receiving uh, for some strange reason uh, that's sometimes working this is the arduino compiler this is my phone connected to the screen and i download it in the google play store an app called bluetooth terminal and if i open this app it says it's uh, not connecting with any device so i click here on settings and I click connect to a device and then I click scan for device and it uh, it finds a device called Linver and that's the one we need that's the that's the one with, which is set up on the board this one and you see it's uh, blinking when the LED is blinking it means that it is not connected with any device this is uh, the Arduino this is uh, a LED set up in pin 13. It's connected with our adapter as a power supply. Back in the phone, I click on Limver and it's connecting. And then it asks me for uh, a pin code. And the pin code is 1, 2, 3, 4. Very easy. And it says it's connected to Limver. Over here, you see the, the code. And it says if the input is 1, it sets uh, pin 30 high and it turns the LED on. And with 2, it turns it off. And with a question mark, it only sends text. So let's try this out. Send. And you see the LED is burning. And it prints uh, LED is on. So the red is what you send, and the blue is the incoming. Send. The LED is off. And the question mark sent power on the LED. You can do it on this way to a iPhone as well. And your cell phone is only responding on what you wrote inside your Arduino code. So if you modify these if statements, you can start up engines or relays and play with it around. I will put a link of the code below the video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.